Um, my name's Alicia, I'm 53 years old. Um, we've had a two and a half hour drive to get here, but I was highly recommended. I've used Ian before for Botox and some fillers fairly recently. Um, just sick of looking tired. Um, I've yo-yo dieted all my life and this last bout of yo-yo dieting has left me with the gobbly neck or turkey neck as my husband very kindly says and I don't like what I see anymore. Face tight is uh, non-incisional facelifting um, using internal radio frequency uh, with liposuction if needed. Um, it's a procedure that uh, I've been doing for quite a number of years now uh, using uh, the face tight applicator head, uh, similar to a body tight applicator head, but a, a very much smaller device designed to be used really in the face and the neck. What face tight allows me to do is to uh, create a, a thermal energy uh, deep underneath the, uh, the skin in, in, the, in the subdermal fat layer in the, in the face and the neck. This has two functions. It, uh, it uh, will kill off the fat cells in, the, in that area and allow a reduction uh, in fat, especially in the, in the neck or in the jowls, uh, and improve the contour. But it also gives a very significant tightening uh, of the skin uh, through the thermal energy that is placed deep down. Uh, and so we can see results often uh, in the face and neck uh, that are equivalent to uh, formal facelifting surgery. So we're putting in the anaesthetic now and it's going in very nicely. She's doing great. This is the worst bit. Got a long shot. It's minimally invasive, uh, so it can be un it's undertaken uh, in, in, in a theatre setting, but uh, under local anaesthetic. So it does involve injections into the face and neck of, of tumescent uh, anaesthesia fluid uh, to give us uh, a, safe, uh, a safe vehicle to, uh, under the skin, a, a safe uh, medium to deliver the energy safely, but also a very good uh, anaesthesia uh, during the procedure uh, so the patients really ha have uh, no pain or discomfort uh, during the procedure. It's a relatively quick procedure. It usually takes uh, 60 to 90 minutes to do a face and neck type procedure. And, uh, Following this, there's a very quick uh, return to normal activities. Just now I'm going to tidy it and try and suck a little bit of the fat out, all right? Yeah, carry on. This is the bit. <laughs> Done all the heat in. Done all the heat in. And now we're just going to work along here and here just to try and get as much of the little bit of the fat out. Yeah. This procedure. The patients that perhaps uh, are less suitable for face tight, neck tight are the ones that perhaps have very thin skin. Uh, and, and, a, and a lack of volume completely in, in the lower face and jawline. Uh, they're best treated by other means, then perhaps with uh, sutures and, and fillers and, and bioremodeling. But certainly the, the, if you've got a heavier face, if you've got more moderate de degrees of laxity, you've got fat underneath the, the jawline and in, in, the, in the neck, these are ideal patients for, for a face and neck tight and certainly offers a real alternative to patients who don't want to undergo uh, surgery uh, and obviously the, uh, the risks associated with more formal face and neck lift surgery, uh, which needs to be done under a general anaesthetic in most cases and carries a much, much higher risk of complications uh, than, than this uh, procedure, which is minimally invasive. I often combine uh, face and neck tight with Fractura, uh, which is a fractional radio frequency treatment on the skin. Uh, we get the deep uh, tissue tightening and lifting from the face and neck tight, 
uh, and we get the skin remodeling from Fractora so it can be uh, it can improve fine lines as wrinkle and wrinkles as well uh, and photo aging or scarring as well as improving uh, the lift and we get the best results when we combine the two together following the procedure you are quite swollen naturally uh, from the fluid and the anesthetic in the face and the neck and from the treatment uh, the skin itself may be quite red from the uh, from the fractura and from the heating um, we put people into compression which is an elasticated uh, balaclava type garment that compresses all of the tissues that we've treated and it's important to wear that for 72 hours continuously following a face and neck type procedure uh, this will allow the best uh, skin tightening to occur uh, and also it will help the fluid and swelling go down and minimise uh, complications of bruising, swelling, infection. Um, so you wear that for 72 hours, you can then take it off, clean your face, wash the face uh, and then you need to be wearing it for the next week to 10 days for about 12 hours a day. So we normally suggest the evening and night time for people. Any bruising or redness or swelling is usually resolved uh, within the first week. Um, so effectively the downtime for most people is about a week uh, and following this most people are back to work or back to normal activities. The results of face tight and, uh, and neck tight are long lasting, uh, usually uh, five to ten years similar to, uh, to having a facelift itself uh, once the full result has been achieved can take up to a year to get to the, the full uh, result from face and neck tight. Uh, there is an init initial improvement uh, after the, uh, after this, the uh, procedure, but it gets better. And certainly we see the best results uh, around about six months uh, following, uh, but they do continue to improve for up to a year. Uh, and as I said, then, then at that point, it's a very long lasting uh, result that we see. It was fine. I don't. I wasn't in any discomfort particularly. I, I zoned out to my happy place, squeezing my husband's hand. I was fine. 